first referee, Mr. Fernandez Velarde. Second referee, Mr. Herbert Matematico. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our PGJC Navy Sea Lions. Team captain wears jersey number 16, apprentice seaman Gregorio Dolor. At number one, Joshua Umandal. Wearing jersey number five, EJ Casania. At number 13, Roniel Rosales. Wearing jersey number 15, Peter Kiel. And at number 20, Christian Marcelino. Libero, number three, Jack Kalinking. Head coach, Petty Officer 3, Cecil Cruzadas. Calling on our VNS 1, Alicia Griffins. Team captain wears jersey number 13, John Benedict San Andres. At number two, Ronier Adviento. Wearing jersey number six, Kim Malabunga. At number 10, Uriel Mendoza. Wearing jersey number 14, Esmilzo Polvorosa. And at number 16, Kevin Montemayor. Libero, number four, John Joshua Cruz. Head coach, Mr. Ralph Raymond Ocampo. As we are at the semifinals and you said clean slate, I mean, for them, they just have to forget about it, learn from their those games, and try to, you know, pull up an upset on any of the three. Right, and they've also had bases already because they, they played these teams in the elimination round. They've also mm. scouted them for sure. So hopefully, the second time around that they meet these teams, they, they prove to be a much better squad in terms of their performance, right? Oh, yeah, and, mga una lang laro. yeah, and we have to say also, one of their main gunners talking about VNS is Kim Malabunga, who actually th did not play a couple of games in the preliminaries because of an ankle sprain. Mm. But he's here, right. he's healthy, and uh, you know, he's a force at the net. So for me, he's got to dominate if VNS wants a shot at beating this very hot Navy. Right, and uh, in just a bit, we will give you VNS and Navy here on One Sports. We'll be back.
The Spikers Serve 2022 Open Conference still here on One Sports and One Sports Plus. So glad you could join us after that slight delay dahil may napansin ng uh, players that the net was a bit low kanina. Yeah. So they had to adjust it. And now we are set to begin this semi-finals matchup between Navy and VNS as the Sea Lions start off with a point mula kay Greg Dolor. You know what you like about Greg Dolor? He has been, actually been with Navy, I think since after his stint in FEU. Mm. But he's always been a middle blocker, right. you know. But this conference, he just, whatever position the coach gives him, he plays and he produces numbers. And of course, they had to adjust also because uh, si De La Vega went ah. down with an injury. So uh, some guys had to step up, like Marcelino didn't start for Navy in the early goings of this tournament, but uh, he has shown some signs of being able to replace him and score. Ishpol Barossa will get a service error. Yeah, and one thing good about Navy, given the situation that you just mentioned, no, what's nice is they were able to adjust, mm -hmm. you know? They were able to gel, and like I said earlier, four straight wins after that first loss of their second game. They, four straight wins. Which makes them the hottest right. team right now in Easily the Spikers the team. And, and this is a revamped team you mentioned. And daming bagong pumasok the players here, but all quality players for Navy and proven to be effective for them. Meanwhile, Mendoza scores off the block there. Yeah, speaking of quality hits. Oh. <laughs> and Greg Dolor once again. Two quick points for him. But you love that set from EJ Casania, really. You know, he has been a revelation right. in this conference, right? I mean, he's a young setter from Perpetual, and he's, he actually ended up number one in setting after the preliminaries. Tsaka sinasabi nga niya sa atin na medyo may pressure on his part because siya yung pinakabata halos, di ba? And he has teammates that are veterans who have been part of the national team. But at the same time, it's good for him because he has the options. Yeah, <laughs> he does. So he has to, you know, polish up on his decision making and creativity, like we always say. Battle of the setters. Right. Three all here in the early goings of the opening set. Mm, good pass. Back set to Rosales, sent back. Casania goes for the attack. Polvorosa picks it up easily. Cruz to Mendoza. That doesn't go over. And it's going to be four touches for VNS. Yeah, he wanted to brush it off the blockers, but it got clipped by the tape. So it will be Jao Mandal serving. Jao. Which is the first one to notice. Eh, na medyo, medyo yeah. mababa yung ano kanina. No, and you like it because they also have standards. You know, oh. for other players, they say, okay, better, it's lower. But no, for <laughs> them, no, we want it. Standard height. That attack is out. Sabi siguro ni Umandal, pag tumalan ako, ba't parang nasa dibdib ko na yung net? <laughs> yeah. yeah, because this conference, we did notice that he, his leap really oh, got grabe. higher. Five serving three. After that attack error mula kay San Andres. Yeah, for VNS, you have to be careful with these errors. And Viento will score off the block. You know what the second referee didn't see? I saw Ishpol Veros actually his left foot. Oh, parang lumagpas na There, onte. there. <laughs> that could have been easily a violation. But nonetheless, VNS gets a point there. Four serving five. VNS just down by one point. Casania sends it to Marcelino, who sends it out. And it's tied once again at five apiece. I think he's still cold from all the waiting here for <laughs> oh, the start yeah, of no? the match. How does that affect the players? Of course, parang you're prepared to already sweat it out. Tapos <laughs> biglang may slight delay. Of course, does that have a factor also kahit pa paano sa, sa mga players ato? Technically, it shouldn't, yeah. right? Because you're already focused on the match. A oh. little lull here and there. You just keep moving, you know, <laughs> warm yourself up, keep yourself warm, actually. It shouldn't. Nakita natin, ang tagal na usapan nila, no? siguro nag-catch-up nag session na rin sila <laughs> sa huddles. Yeah. And right now, VNS is up by a point. Well, you can... Does a great job in disguising that. 
Medyo mataas pa nga yun eh, no? Yung, yeah. yung play na yun, but nobody there for Navy to pick it up. And it's perfect placement right at the center of Navy's defense. Casania back sets it. Oh. Picked up there by Mendoza. It's still alive, no? <laughs> Adviento unable to get that second ball properly. I mean, good effort for Adviento. But I was looking at Kim Malabung. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, <laughs> he just leaned on his legs <laughs> and said, let's fight another, <laughs> another point. <laughs> Seven all here. Who will get to the technical timeout first? Oh. That will be Malabunga. In your fight, nasabi niya. Yeah. Babawi ko lang next point. <laughs> As we reach the first technical timeout, we'll be back here on One Sports. Recovery and redemption is the news headline for Kim Malabunga as he stayed out for a few games given his injury but later on exploded with 16 points against Army last game. Habang nag-recover raw si Kim, pinanood niya ang game plays ng Army para wala man paano sila babalik na rin for their do-or-die match last Tuesday. He told me that despite him receiving therapy and treatment for his injury, he wasn't sitting out on the strategies he could play out once he gets back in the court. As a senior of VNS, inaako raw niya lahat ng responsibilidad bilang isang kuya sa team. And for now, patterns of defense ang kailangan daw nilang pagtuunan ng pansin. Let's see if his leadership will once again thrive this set one. Let's go back to you guys. Thank you, Alexis, for that report as VNS able to get that point. Kim Malabunga suffered that uh, injury that Alexis was talking about when they faced Santa Rosa. Mm -hmm. So early going in the tournament, but he still provided 48 points if you saw the numbers yeah. dito para sa VNS. And, and more than that, Noreen, yung leadership role niya as a kuya here. And of course, he is a national team mainstay. Mm. So what a great addition he is to this VNS team. Number seven pa nga in terms of blocking itong si Kim Malabunga. But you know, for VNS, we saw it in that game against Army. Early on, Ish Polvarosa got Malabunga involved, giving him, you know, a lot of sets. And then he started distributing. So right. it's very important to start Kim Malabunga off strong today. And he got the better of that. Uh... Battle at the net. Medyo natawa dun si Kim Malabunga. Faced by Umandal. Yeah, I think they call a net violation on uh, Josh Umandal. But you know they're friends off the court. Right. Of course, have played together in the national team. Two-point lead for VNS in the first set. Steady pick up by Cruz, Polvorosa. And not the tallest. So, Kasanya back sets it. Block doesn't work as it sails out. There's so much spring in Greg Delore. <laughs> you can see, I hope they can see it in the slow mo. After that, like, he's always just hopping. Like, like that, you see? <laughs> just like spring on his feet. A lot of energy, too, yeah. right, that he has to release. But that time around, uh, service error for the captain, Greg Delore. Well, here, I mean, obviously here in the first set, Philippine Navy, the PGJC Navy, a lot of errors. Yeah. So it's halting also their their run, you know, trying to get the rhythm. Oh, parang hindi pa sila nakakuha ng string of points consecutively. It's back with VNS. Mm -hmm. Oh. And Doza is rejected by Rosales. Great read, one-on-one. -on -one. Mendoza gets the better there. Look at 
that one on one. Rosales perfectly reading that one. Chao Mandal to serve. Good serve, but good pass. Oh. Steady setting mula kay Polvorosa. Did not even need to jump or move so much. And he delivers it to Adviento who scores. Yeah. It was actually a great pass. You're right. He didn't have to move. That's how good that pass was. Carry that to Barbie San Andres. Back to a three-point lead for Venice. So far, so good for the Griffins. Casania goes back oh. row to Greg Dolor. And check that, Greg Dolor is six out of seven in terms of attacks, Doreen. And you can see here in the first set, they have been getting him involved. They've been giving a, giving it a lot to Greg Dolor from the pipe, from the front. Yeah. I mean, they just want him to take over in this match. That's 86% attack efficiency so far for the captain. Wow. Okay, by math ko dun. Oh. <laughs> and San Andres will answer back. And tell us, I don't need math. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you mention my attack efficiency, said San Andres on that part. He's so impressive. You know, in the pregame, we were talking about the matchup between Umandal and San Andres. He has the same number of blocks as Umandal. Right, right. Five blocks in the in the preliminaries. And you, you know the height discrepancy. So, it's so impressive. Can't say enough about <laughs> it. <laughs> he continues to impress us. He's at the top of the coverage. We're wondering, where did San Andres come from? And then eventually, he really knows him here in Spiker's Turf. Off the block and a point for Marcelino, his first as well of the match. That just overpowering. I think he challenged Ish Polverosa there. Good set also by their libero Vince Lorenzo. Mm, yeah. Oh, good serve. Shouts to the net. It's back with the Sea Lions. Cross court attack is good for Dolor. As we're looking at Ish Polverosa, they couldn't get there. Switches on time, so he manned the middle. Two straight points for the Navy Sea Lions to cut the lead down to a single one. Great pass. Straight to Mandal. Again, Dolor. Cruz pops it up. Malabunga sends that long, and we are tied at 15 all. Yeah, just like that. I mean, that was a tight set. I mean, We've seen a lot of sets like that, mm. but you know, just that hitting error. But yeah, just like that, we, Navy is just back in this first set. <laughs> Down by three points a couple of times, able to withstand. Oh. But Montemayor takes the lead for VNS, and we reach the second technical timeout. We'll be back here on One Sports. about Greg Dolor for quite a while now. And to know more about the captain of the Navy Sea Lions as here this report mula kay Alexis Tinsay. Ika ng kapitan ng Navy Sea Lions si Greg Dolor contributing 12 points last game. Ang motor nila for the semifinals ay little by little instead of overwhelming themselves with the pressure of what they have to achieve. Isa-isa lang nila ang game ng eliminations to get to the final four. And for the semis, they will do the same. With an injured job in De La Vega, Captain Greg Dolor pushed to motivate the second stringers of the team to step up para ituloy ang laban. Kailangan daw lahat handang gumalaw sa oras na gipitin sila ng kahit anong pagsubok. Let's see if they can continue their winning streak or even start a new one since it's back to zero this set one. Thank you, Alexis, for that report. Greg Dolor, little by little, has led the Navy Sea Lions to the top spot at the end of the elimination round. Number 
nine in terms of scoring itong si Greg Dolor and number eight in uh, spiking in terms of efficiency. Yeah, and on cue, he gets another point for, for Navy. But what is impressive about Greg Dolor is he's not playing his position, his, his original position, yeah. and yet he is producing rock-solid numbers. Talking about uh, versatility mm. on the part of Greg Dolor. And Umandal will take that point easily yeah. as they overtake VNS. Overpass there. VNS, you have to be careful because Navy is a really good blocking team. Right. You cannot have these overpasses. Well, you mentioned it, the Navy Sea Lions. But that service is out. Malaki Marcelino. Well, we are tied. You know, that's how close this, <laughs> this set is. Captain Ishpolvorosa. Serving for VNS. Good serve. Good pass to Casania by Lorenzo and Umandal will score off the block. It wasn't the best of sets, but uh, Umandal just makes do, brushes it off the blockers. Another good serve. Casania ups it. This time picked up by Mendoza. San Andres had to chase EJ, one hand set to Rosales. Rally ongoing. Rosales is down though. And holding on to his left foot after that collision with a VNS player. Oh, it's not something you don't want to see. Right, and Kim Malabunga is really watching and hoping that the player on the other side is fine because Kim knows exactly what this feels like, he just had that injury. But you can see the where Kim was. He was actually on his side of the court. Mm -hmm. So it was... Yung, yung momentum yeah. ni Rosales carried him to across the net. So accidentally stepping on Malabunga. Oh, that's a big blow. I mean, we talked about injuries plaguing Navy. Yet another one. So it's another... A whole set of adjustments altogether. Right, and and Roniel Rosales actually in that matchup with VNS in the elimination round, he, he scored 11 points. Mm. So him being sidelined in this game will possibly play a big part for Navy and will look to rely on a different player at the middle position. Sabi mo nga, si Greg Dolor had to already adjust his position. Yeah. Tapos ngayon, si Rosales will go down. So they will go to Jimmy Entig. Oh. Uh, Malabunga takes advantage. Well, that's the way. That's the attitude you're supposed to have if you're VNS. I mean, it's not that they're not hu human or humane, but you have to take advantage of a yeah. weakness of your opponents. As Kim Malabunga serves. Oh! oh. Immediately creates impact. Etong si Jemmy and Tig. That was a great set. That was a phenomenal set by Casania because, yeah, I mean, you're new in the set. I'm gonna go to you, get get you that confidence. Up by one point. Etong si Lions Mendoza sent back. Cruz upset San Andres from the back row. That is short. Yeah, that did not cross. I mean, wasted opportunity for VNS. Here's the thing, Noreen. When when you have a guy who, who goes down like that, it's either mahirapan kayo or you get more pumped to play mm. for your teammate who is sidelined right now. And Navy, now up by two points, responding well. Sa pagpasok ito si Intig. Yeah, and he's making himself known to, oh. to the volleyball world. <laughs> Ooh, almost saved there by the Sea Lions, but... Intig will get that error. Medyo malapit na yun sa net. Yeah. He tried, to, he tried to save that, but he scooped it off the net. 19 serving 20. Montemayor will serve for VNS. Great serve. Casania tosses it to Umandal, but that is out. 
You know, I can see that the sets are far for Josh Omandal. I mean, it's always near that antenna or that pin. So he's been working yeah. hard. He's been adjusting. And, you know, if you're going down the line, you don't want to twist your, your hand too much. He's already got the sets that he's used to receiving in the elimination round. Oh. What a point from Greg Tolor, targeting Montemayor. That's your leader right there, Greg Delore, being very busy and very active here in the first set. And we are nearing the 25-point mark. Navy just up by one point. Well, you know, in the pregame, we also mentioned that the past game between these two squads, and we have to mention Navy had 13 blocks yeah. and VNS had nine blocks, but so far, that department, not much, not much numbers for both teams. For both teams, no? And Marcelino and Intig. Not quite sure who got the touch there, but they'll take it. I think it was Intig. <laughs> With the way he's yeah. reacting, no, he's pumped <laughs> as he... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Take a look at this one. The last play and the point. Yep, that was definitely in Tig getting that one. But the timeout called by coach Ralph Ocampo. Still staying composed, no? Just down by two points, sabi niya, that they can still get back here in this first set. Well, you got confused there because it looked like synchronized oh, volleyball. <laughs> they jumped at the same time, one hand, the right hand up. <laughs> we can uh, add that to the list of events, no? Yeah. So, may synchronized swimming, may synchronized volleyball oh, then. <laughs> we've seen a lot of that. 22 serving 20. Umandal sends that short. Gives VNS a free point. So far, Umandal hasn't gotten going here in this match. Both in attacks, that was that time around, an error in the service area. But then, when you look at the score, Navy still uh, Navy is still ahead by right. one. Oh. So, can you <laughs> imagine if Josh Mandel starts scoring? Morse Gavan will check in for the first time, doing serving duties, steady service there. From the back row! Greg Dolor <laughs> adds another one to his total. Well, he's been the consistent one here. And they've been going to them, to him, and why not? Quickly, Young Mendoza checks back in. It's back to a two-point lead for the Sea Lions. Jemmy and Tick, the guy who had to replace Rosales with that injury. Serves that one. San Andres goes oh. up and down it goes. And Andres just burns the blocker there, go, hits it through. See this one again. Right in the middle of Cassania yeah. and Peter Kiel. That was a great set, but smart hitting by San Andres. VNS just down by one point. Yeah, this is Doria in to serve. Ooh, oh, Cassania. With a smart play. <laughs> he did not allow Kim Malabunga <laughs> to establish any form of block there. Look at this. <laughs> Avoiding the blocker of VNS. And now another timeout by the Griffiths. Cover tayo, cover pa din magumawala yung cover, ha? Yes, go, 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 go. And another timeout called by VNS as we have a chance to get an update Malaki Alexis Tinsay. Roniel Rosales, middle blocker of the PGJC Navy Sea Lions, stepping over the court line as he jumps for a block slip on recently injured Kim Malabunga's foot and is now currently suffering a painful ankle sprain. Ron is currently resting on the benches and is currently being iced by the physical therapist. Unfortunately, he would have to sit out the remaining sets this evening and rest for the time being. Back to you guys. Thank you, Alexis, for that update. And VNS able to... Get a point here. So Ron Rosales of the Navy Sea Lions has heard from that report, Malaki. Alexis, 
that he will have to sit out, yeah. unfortunately. But of course, we we want him to recover right away because mahaba pa tong semifinals, diba? may, may two more games after. Yeah, we wish him well. Timeout called by Coach Cecil Cruzad. Yes, 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 let's go, let's go! Hey, go! Heard a timeout there from the PGJC Navy Sea Lions saying that they don't have to rush. They are going to receive here and a chance for them to close the first set out as you just saw Ron Rosales who stepped on uh, Malabunga a while ago hoping that he will recover real soon. San Andres. Oh, what a serve. Casania to Greg Dolor for the finish here in <laughs> set number one. And that's really no answer for Greg Delore here in the first set. They were close. They actually led a couple of times by three points. But the Navy Sea Lions staying composed, relying on their captain, Greg Delore, as he delivers the goods here in set number one. They take it 25 to 23. We'll be back here on One Sports. yung parang point guard nila eh, sa loob ng court na kahit mga seniors ko sila karamihan kailangan mapasunod ko sila like magkasundo kami mas eager kami ngayon maglaro sa semis kasi ito na po yung hinihintay namin yung navy po first time po makapasok sa semis kaya sobrang excited kami maglaro ngayon kailangan namin mag-connect each and every time. So I have to really communicate with them. This is a new round. Anything can happen, bilog yung bola. We'll just play our best and give everything out on the court. Magaling talaga siya. Kahit nung, since nung high school pa ako, ina-idolize ko na Kuya Ish nun. Baga kumukuha ako sa kanya ng mga technique, kung paano mag-set, paano yung playing style niya. He's one of the best because uh, he really trusts uh, his spikers and of course, it also helps that they're playing as a cohesive unit. Of course, it also starts with, you know, good passing and defense, and they have that luxury. If you're familiar or a fan of the men's volleyball sport and you, or volleyball in general, and you're also watching basketball, you would know that the setter is uh, somewhat similar to a point guard yeah. in terms of playmaking. At the ginagawa ni Casania and Polvorosa so far, but. In set number one, it was the Navy Sea Lions led by the attacks of Greg Delor that got them the win there. It wasn't pretty though. I mean, the first set we said they had errors here and there. They started out slow, but then they were able to get composed. I mean, mm. the, even an injury to their to their squad, but in, in big, wow. I mean, he just made the name. He just uh, introduced himself right. to Navy <laughs> and uh, they ended up winning that set. So. 
of course, they relied on Greg Dolor. Yeah. Come on, Greg Dolor's per, uh, numbers in that first set is equal to the entire VNS wow. attack. So if you look at the attacks, 18 for Navy, 11 of that is from Greg Dolor, and that equals VNS 1 Alicia. But we did say they started out slow. They had 12 errors. One thing they want to minimize, you know, because given that with this new six because of an injury and because of anything, it's not going to always be smooth sailing. Right. So you don't want these complications of these errors. Oh, and uh, aside from that, two players down already mm -hmm. for the Navy Sea Lions in De La Vega and Rosales. You know, first point will go to VNS as we welcome you to set number two here on One Sports. Div Di Bianco and Noreen Go calling this match for the semifinals of the Spikers Turf. 2022 Open Conference. Peter oh. Kiel joins the scoring column for the Navy Sea Lions. Well, finally getting a set now for and talk about Kiel um, in this match. They need to get people involved because obviously VNS will make the adjustments. They know Greg Delore is the first option, the primary option. So, you know, defense will focus on him. So you have to get the others involved. Right. Chanda banggit mo nga na hindi pa nga nakukuha ni Jao mandal yung rhythm yeah. eh. So what more? when he gets going in this game, or can Venus continue to limit him? Yeah, Umandal just with three points here in this match so far. And he heard us. <laughs> okay, make it four. <laughs> make it four. Getting that point to drop for Navy. As Christian Marcelino will head to the service line. Oh, but... Look at the front row of Navy, Umandal, Dolor, and Kiel. That's, those are big names. I'm yeah. actually. I'm <laughs> to face three of those in front of you. The service error so far, that's six already for Navy. And two palang for VNS. Oh. Double quick there. And again, Greg Dolor just at it. Sportsmanship shown by Mendoza and Dolor. Oh, what a thing of beauty. And then the Matai is synchronized. <laughs> Dinig na ganda naman nila ng uh, highlight. No, and you know why we saw that, like, that shake? Because Greg Dolor did, like, kind of cross that midline. And that could have been. Oh, baka similar ng yeah. mga yari kanina, That's dangerous. Something we want to uh, avoid. Kasanya goes quick to Intig. And why not? Because he has <laughs> contributed well here in his short stint. Well, obviously, passing is working for Navy here in the second set. We already saw a couple of sets to yes, that drops for Ben San Andres. Well, you're hoping for the fans of VNS. That's the start of something big. San Andres just with two points here in this match so far. So that's going to hopefully build his confidence. Young Mendoza has two points so far in this game. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Make that five now Make for Jao Mandal. Well, you like that, that that was an off-system swing there. Look at that. Like, he wants those out of system sets there. And then, nobody there to really block him yeah. out. It was an open lane for Jao Mandal. <laughs> VNS kind of forgot that. Okay, that was Jao <laughs> Mandal. San Andres will try oh, to answer come on. back with a cross court kill. Well, now he's feeling it. Talking about San Andres. A pretty, pretty quiet first set, but so far, two huge points to his name. Five all is the score. Casania back sets it to Mandal. Straight to Mendoza, who is unable to control. And Jao Mandal slowly but surely gaining strength here in the second set. Well, you know what's interesting? Clearly, the two players we talked about in our pregame, that matchup that we're looking forward to, Josh, Jao Mandal and Ben San Andres, they're coming to life here in the second set. <laughs> Both kind of quiet in the first set. Right, that's what we're seeing. Meanwhile, Jemmy and Tig 
who we mentioned came off the bench, just had the service ace. Wow. And he's only uh, 85 years of age. Was actually born on New Year's Day, January 1. So, magandang boy na siyan. Oh, fireworks. <laughs> Kaya naman pala. <laughs> well, speaking of fireworks, or fire, or work, <laughs> Kim Malabuga <laughs> just uh, lit one up right there. San Andres, number one server at the end of the eliminations. Six to seven. This time picked up by Mendoza. Montemayor goes up. Mm, good receive. Lorenzo picked it up. And oh. then, of course, they go to Greg Delore. Who else? Who else? <laughs> and we reached the first technical timeout. Eight to six in favor of the Sea Lions. The game at hand, the semi-finals matchup between Navy and DNS. And we have another report coming from Alexis Tinsai. Coach Ralph Campo honestly tells me that this advantage of VNS won Alicia Griffins when it comes to the height of the Navy. Kita naman mas matangkad ang Sea Lions kaya naman kailangan nilang bumawi sa extension ng kanilang mga movement. Coach Ralph says it all depends kung paano sila magka-counter sa floor defense and how well VNS will serve to get a good first ball. Kung may physical man na disadvantage, kailangan nilang mag-focus sa lakas ng coverage nila. Even if they had close sets with Navy back in the preliminary, Preliminaries. The only thing that matters to Coach Ralph is to get that end game. No matter how many sets, bumalik tayo sa volleyball action this set too. Thank you, Alexis, for that report. The height ni Kim Malabunga is not enough para iyangat yung average height <laughs> natong natong VNS, no? Because you can see, atong Navy, alas pantay pantay, no? A lot of six footers in this uh, in their squad. So Coach Ralph Ocampo, hoping that his team can match up well. Dumidikit sila, and they are able to get a block. Well, that would be a start for VNS. You know, you stop the number one attacker right now in Navy in Greg Delore. Stuff block. So after the first technical timeout, VNS scoring back-to-back -back points to tie this game up at 8-all. Good serve. Casania pops it up to <laughs> Delore. And again, he is making a living on the wings for Navy. Well, you know, that's the beauty of, you know, having a great setter in Casania. He was getting everyone involved. So when Greg Delor got blocked, you know, the blockers of VNS was thinking twice, who are they going to go? And they go back to Delor. <laughs> no blockers there. Excellent set. Oh, what a play there. Polvorosa sending it to Montemayor. Yeah, opposite hitter there. And guess what? We're tied at nine. <laughs> You've seen a lot of deadlock so far in this game. Oh, Ooh, that service of Malabunga is way short. Oh, it's like a miss hit oh. there. Missed opportunity also for the Griffins to take the lead. Oh, good pass. Ish to Mendoza sent back. That was Greg Delore. GD. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> GD. No, 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 no. GD 16. <laughs> yeah. Para PG 13, pero GD 16. Uh oh. For for Spiker Stir. <laughs> for your guidance. Yes. Uh, uh, GD. <laughs> pwede, pwede. Monte Mayor will serve now 10 to 11. They're looking Ooh, come on. to tie this one up, and they do so with that service ace, Mulake Montemayor. You know, these, this VNS team, these players, they're good servers. 
I will name two most especially San Andres and Montemayor and they have to use that mm. they have to keep challenging the first pass of Navy another good one there this time better pass and that drops for Jemmy and Tig yeah I mean another great set you know you like it really what Kasanya is doing right and Tig is giving him sets if, he, if oh. uh, possible Knowing that he has contributed since he entered the game, building his confidence, yeah. especially that he hasn't played a lot here in the tournament. Ish, bit of a tough set. Set back, second try for the Griffins. Back to San Andres. EJ to Jao. That hits the antenna off the block and a point for Navy. Well, you know, from our vantage point, I'm looking at that being a tough set as well. Maybe I have to adjust my. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he gets the, the the point. Or maybe he just really can adjust. Yeah. With no, we know he oh. can. We know that. <laughs> but so far, his hits are like you can see him stretch for it. Oh. Polvorosa goes back to San Andres, and finally, Ben San Andres breaks down the wall. Yeah. Good, good recognition there that on the part of Ishpol Verosa get going to San Andres. A one-on-one -on -one there, and San Andres gets the better of Casania. Sticking their noses, itong VNS1 Alicia Griffins. Just one point down behind the Sea Lions. Mendoza will serve. A good one over received. Battle at the net. No. Oh. Still kept alive. Ooh, what was the point by Umandal? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Way for the ball, Omandal will send that out, but not quite sure. <laughs> Medyo kakaiba yung pinangitan ni Omandal, <laughs> jumping na underhand. Yeah. Na. Now obviously he's being playful there. <laughs> they are enjoying themselves, but again, well, Omandal with that, that hitting error, and we are uh, once again tied at 13. That is outside for Mendoza. The linesman took his time <laughs> before raising that flag. After tying this game up, VNS giving up a free point. Omandal will serve. He's got seven points so far on seven attacks. Oh. Boy, San Andres has been... Getting a lot of these tough serves. What a dig there, Malaki Kalinking. Yeah. Ooh. But not the best set there. And Adviento will take advantage. That's just great setting by Ishpol Verosa. And look who's back in front. <laughs> 14 all in set number two. Kasanya oh. to Intig. It's safe to say Jimmy Intig has gotten his confidence and groove in this match. And he fit perfectly into this Navy 6. Ooh, look who's entering now. Ooh. For Navy. We take a look at Joven de la Vega entering the match. Is this his first match since that injury? Could be, Quite right? Possibly. Yeah. I, I haven't seen him in a while. We've seen him on the bench. I don't know if Jason will support the teammates, but on the floor, this is going to be the first. Medyo malamig pa ito si De La Vega. Wants to play center right <laughs> away. But I remember before he went down with that ankle injury, he was one of the go-to also mm. of, of Navy in terms of offense. Okay, so he saw action against Santa Rosa in their last game. Sparingly. But, oh, barely lang. Uh -oh. Set two in bahagyang stint lang yun. So, siguro, kinakapapa ni Coach Cecil Cruzat just to have him get the feel once yeah. again of his legs. And
Just to share with the panel, Jao Omandal, wake up with a painful and strained neck today told me that they are confident to start the semi-final strong. Sa kabila ng pangit, nagising at kinikilangang therapy sa leeg niya. Itutuloy daw nila ang underdog mindset para tuluyan silang mag-exert ng extra effort more than the other teams. To stay below, to stay humble will keep them intact and keep their streak above the water. Let's go back to set two to see how this team attempts to dominate despite physical pains going on with their team. Back you guys. Thank you, Alexis, for that report. Totoo kaya. Next, next, parang may sprain or strain. Next, strain. Yeah, pero parang parang Stiff lakas neck. pa rin nitong si <laughs> Jao Mandal. Imagine kung 100% yeah. pa siguro siya, di ba? Well, not, not his normal numbers and we saw, like, maybe that's why he's struggling. Yeah. Right? When we, we say he's getting the sets in the outside positions, like he's always, yeah, could be stiff neck. Tsaka kanina yung nakita natin na uh, Jumping underhand niya, kaya hindi siya nakaikot. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> pala niya maikot yung neck niya. No. Kaya pala, now we know. Now we know. Montemayor will score for VNS. And they will take the lead here in set number two. This is the first taste of the lead here for VNS. Could be, right? For set number two, I uh -oh. believe. Yeah. yeah. What a time for that to come. That's the crucial part of this set. Near the end game of set number two. Casania goes to De La Vega. Oh, good stop. Polvorosa goes to Montemayor. Joven picks it up. Here's Dolor. Mendoza was there. He's asking for it. Ish gives it oh. to Yo. And he knew exactly what to do with it. He's, that was just a smart hit when you look at your blockers, you have kill there. No? But he still went for that cross-court angle no. and eluded the blockers. Oh, you heard him clapping, making a ish, knowing that he's ready to attack and score as we listen in to this timeout of Navy. <laughs> Coach Cecil Cruzad recognizing that this is uh, an important part of the set. VNS up by two points. May mga adjustments siyang hinihingi from, from her team. Yeah. And obviously, she's recognizing the fact that momentum has switched jerseys here oh. in the second set. So she wants to stop that. Casania goes to De La Vega, who will score his first point of the match. Well, he looks good. He looks healthy. No more ankle problems there, and he gets the kill. That was the De La Vega we saw oh. no? before he went down. He's going to serve here for the Sea Lions. Polvorosa in kay Mendoza for the kill. <laughs> now they're feeling it. Young Mendoza, Montemayor, Adviento. These people are now feeling it for VNS. So you can feel that it's a total team effort for the one Alicia Griffin. The blockers were there, right. mind you. <laughs> Unfazed, yeah. it's si Young Mendoza. And Jao Mandal answers right back. Unfaced and in your face. <laughs> in your face. I don't mind having blockers in front of me. <laughs> oh, well, that was a one oh, on one. Solo block. Like yeah. oh, oh. That is in yeah. for Ace. Peter Kiel. You know, from an A serve from a middle blocker is always something. It's a welcome thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, rarely mo rin kasi makukuha ba yun? That's, is that what you're trying to say? I mean, the, well, the better servers are normally the right. uh, outside hitters. Yeah. yeah. Mendoza off the block. Oh. Saved there by Casania. Oh. Dolor gets the second ball. And it's back with VNS. They go combination play to Montemayor and it works. 
Oh, that's pretty textbook volleyball for you for VNS going for the no, good pass going for a combination play. Lead is back with the Griffins. Yeah, and what you like from the Griffins is they're keeping Navy at bay here. Casania tosses it to Mandal down the line and it goes. Yeah. Again. Jao Manda is really working hard. And he, Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, and he sees the scoreboard. Sees them down sila by one point. Sabi niya, bigay niya sa akin. Uh, stiff neck or not. <laughs> neck sprain or not. <laughs> Polvorosa to Adviento. Straight to De La Vega. Here's Jao again. Rejected, but that is out. JC Navy regains advantage. And you can sense that Kasanyan can feel that Umandal is now in, you know, yeah. in the zone. Got his groove back. So, yeah, it is winning time here in the second set. Yeah, that's the number one scorer in the <laughs> tournament. So, he's always a viable option. San Andres tried to go for the drop. All the Navy players. Oh! Went for that ball and they got the point. Wow. That, that's commitment for you from Navy. You know what? I was. Look at I that. had to take a pause there because everyone went go for that. <laughs> and then Jemmy and Dig, the guy off the bench, getting that point to go in a timeout called by VNS. <laughs> And we heard that timeout, Malaki coach Ralph Ocampo. Similar situation, down by two points. We had this scoreline a while ago in set number one, and he knows how important this is because they don't want to go down two sets to none. For sure. But in that last play, there's nothing they can do because the the net gods were in Navy's favor. Right. As the ball just dribbled over. Well, Greg the Lord to serve. But that is short para kay Greg the Lord. And three point given up to VNS. Yeah, and they're putting in Gaban, the serve specialist of VNS. Well, they're just down by one. You want a couple of stops here if you're one Alicia Griffin. Similar situation. Ipinasok dito si Morse Gavan for oh. serving duties. But this time, it is short. But those are the things you practice. In crucial situations. But, of course, different now when there's more pressure on the line. Well, that's a painful error, obviously, on the side of VNS. Navy's at 23. Umandal will serve for the Sea Lions. He's got 10 points here. Good serve. Good receive, though, by Cruz. Here comes San Andres. Umandal, Casania, and De La Vega will score. Yeah, just tooling it off the blocker there. All the hitters right now, maybe on point. DNS will use up their final timeout. I heard Coach Ralph Ocampo, he senses the urgency needed here. And if I heard it correctly, he's asking for a quick attack. Mm. He's looking to get a good receive here. They go for a quick, let's see if they will be able to make something out of this. Well, foremost, you're right, they need a good pass. Oh, kasi Lakas din ng serve nito si Jao Mandal. But, hindi kailangan. <laughs> Sobrang lakas. <laughs> hindi kailangan mag-receive. 
And now all important serves here. And you're gonna send in a new player at this juncture in Chris Doria. He will be tested here. Yeah. Has to be flawless. Well, that's a good serve. Good serve indeed. Lorenzo sets up De La Vega. And Montemir was there. Medyo malayo yung hinabol ni Ish. Free ball ang binigay. Chance for Navy. Casania. Oh, given up here to VNS. Here comes San Andres. Yes, no. Oh, no, that is out. Yeah, it was out, yep. He found the spot, wanted to go there. But it was just a bit wide for Ben San Andres. Take a look at this one. Yeah, you know, that was a great set. Mm. But wasted opportunity, just cranked it up too much. Yeah, I think that was a good call. And Navy. Sea Lions will take this one. They're up two sets to none in this semi-finals matchup against VNS. We'll be back here on One Sports. We're back inside the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center for the continuation of this first game day of the semifinals here at the Spiker Surf 2022 Open Conference. And you're still watching us here on One Sports PGJC Navy Sea Lions off to a great start. Already up by two sets. They're able to withstand. Mm. Do you VNS, you know, Narin? Yeah. Until the end, but the composure and Casania knowing exactly where to go, even Joven de la Vega, that we didn't see for quite a while, delivering para si Lions. Well, you know, for me, the second set and the first set, it's pretty much the same story. Mm. If they had the same script writer. Yeah. So if you're VNS, you want to change the script writer to somebody new because it's the same. You said it. I mean, it was pretty close, you know, VNS led towards the middle part of the second set, but then it. At the end, it was Navy. It's the same as the second set. Look at the numbers. Again, attacks in favor of Navy. Even the opponent's error. So it's the same. Navy at attacking better, but they have more errors. Right. right? Oh, mas marami pa rin. Yeah, but because of the number of attacks they have, the pad there, it negates your errors. Oh. So that's what's been going for them. But for VNS, again, forget about the first two sets. This you, We always say, sense of urgency. They have to win this to force a fourth set and hopefully a fifth. Right. Similar story as you mentioned, 18 attacks ulit. Yung uh, nabawasan lang yung errors nitong uh, VNS, but the aces of the Sea Lions helped out in that set number two. As we welcome you back inside the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center here on One Sports. You're watching us live, Dip Dip Yanko and Noreen Go calling this match. Set number three about to begin. And we visit the top scorers for both teams for Navy. It's Greg Dolor so far with 15 wow. big points. Umandal, bit of a slow start, pero ngayon may sampung puntos na rin na rin. And then this one, Jemmy Inte coming off the bench. He had to replace uh, Roniel Rosales, who was the starting uh, middle blocker after that injury. Naka six points na. And then, si Peter Kiel with three. Meanwhile, for VNS, their top scorer only has seven so far. Mm which is uh, Kevin Montemayor, Ben San Andres, limited to six. Mendoza and Malabunga both with four each. 
And the number one server at the end of the elimination, Spence San Andres, starts off with an ace. Yeah, that's a good start. But you were talking about Malabung with four points. I think that's way too low. You need to get him, get him more involved if you're VNS. He has to be the focal point of your offense. So as you can, I always say, so you can free up your other wing spikers. Oh. De La Vega through the block and a point. I yeah, saw the reaction of Ishpol Barosa. He was there, you know, just push your arm over the net a bit more and you'll get that stuff block. Well, this is set number three. They know what's on the line. Bit of a tough task to get back against the Navy Sea Lions in there. We mentioned nung naglaban sila nung eliminations, yung first set na punta sa VNS. But Navy won three straight after that. This time, itong Navy not allowing VNS to get a set just yet. But we have to mention, no, that was the time also that Navy was piling up the wins. They're oh. the only ones with a streak right now. Mainit, mainit. Oh, four game winning streak. Sabi nga ni, ni Alexis a while ago, this could be their fifth straight. Or first, kasi back to zero yeah, tayo. Yeah, they yeah. could start another streak in the semifinals. I think that, well, from my vantage point, I think that was a good save by Dolor. But a point given to Montemayor. But this has been really the how it's been the past two sets. Dikit na dikit. No team really pulling away until the end game where Navy is able to control the lead. Polvorosa back sets it to Montemayor. And another point here for VNS. Uh, lucky break for them because Jao Mandal went into the net because that ball was wide. So if you're VNS right now, you're, you have a one-point lead, you want to pad this, you know? Score a, in a string of points. Yeah. Try to try to keep uh, Navy you know, at least arm's length. The biggest lead that VNS had in this game as Peter Kiel gets that point was at three points back in set number one, but still easily in the Navy. And just automatically, right? There was a three point lead. Then when we looked at the score, oh, it's tied. <laughs> and then, big lang lamang na, oh. yung Navy. Malabunga. That is eight para kay Kim Malabunga. And you mentioned, Doreen, that they have to activate him yeah. more. Yeah, and I saw him, you know, talking to Ishpol Veros, saying, higher, come on, I'm tall. No, okay, naman yan, no. it doesn't have to be quick low sets for him. Yeah. Intig sent back to Navy. Umandal, his turn, that is short. So a two-point lead yeah. built here by the Griffins. This is what they need to do. Yes, a two-point lead is already a luxury, and then you want to pad some more. Casania back sets it. And De La Vega knew to hit it off the block of Mendoza. Yeah, just using the blockers and their smart, smart offense from De La Vega. <laughs> For the De La Vega fans, you have to be happy. Oh. I mean, it's been a while, even though he was sparingly used in a previous game. It's been a while since he's played this well. But you know what? Even though he sat as that will be a point for VNS. Ni Umandal yung, yung net when he crossed. <laughs> uh, as I was mentioning, De La Vega, even though he missed a couple of games here for, for the Sea Lions, you can still find him at the 30th, 30th spot in terms of scoring. Out of? Well, out of a lot of players. But <laughs> yung yung nasa list natin and goes down until 49. Eh. Uh -huh. So nandun pa rin siya uh -oh. kahit pa You have to make it clear. 30 out of <laughs> 1,000. 1, 1, or, or 30 out of 30 lang pala sila. Eh, <laughs> 30 no? out of 30. <laughs> but he's got, uh, he had a total of 30 points in the eliminations. Now, yeah, if you see those numbers, weren't that missed because Navy's playing well. Mendoza gets one for VNS, holding on to a slim two-point lead. And wanting to get to the first technical timeout ahead. Ah. 
That is outside. That has been his uh, problem so far in the tournament if you've been watching VNS games, no? Medyo naga outside. <laughs> no, that's why they were trying to bring in Gavan mm. to, to serve. Hindi lang umabot. Yeah. Hindi. Then go in. Montemayor will get that point and we reach the first technical timeout. Venus up. Ilang years nang nawala yung volleyball, so coming back na makapag-spiker spirit. Yung excitement na yun, uh, nalalabas sila sa game. Kumbaga, laban lang ng laban. Ang mindset namin ngayon kasi, ano eh, like what I've said sa mga uh, players ko, hindi kasi kami naniniwala sa low moral kahit fourth place kami. Kumbaga, uh, laban lang ng laban. Kung saan kami aabuti ng kung saan ang pinaglalaban namin. So, tignan natin kung saan yung resulta nun. Uh, you just saw Coach Ralph Ocampo and behind him, the NU Santa Elena Nationals who are also through the semifinals. They will face the Signal HD Spikers in our second match of this Thursday doubleheader. In the two teams, na yun, as Greg Dolor gets another point. Those two teams just saw each other yeah. a couple of days back and they get a rematch right away later on. But the game at hand first. Navy Sea Lions looking to close this one out in straight sets. Let's see if they will be able to do so. Pero VNS susubukan pang lumaban at i-extend ito. Mm. San Andres was there. The top oh. by Ish Polvorosa, his second attempt. And that is second make made attempt para kay uh, Ish Polvorosa. I, I tell you, I mean, he just disguises it so well. Everybody, look at that. To the center, everyone is just caught watching. Oh, we know he has that in his bag of tricks. Yeah, and it's his second time. You'd think Navy would like kind of adjust, you know, have more court sense when it comes to Ishpol Verosa's uh, dumps. Ben San Andres with that service error, not what VNS needs. They have to be flawless. Mm. In set number three. And you want, I mean, you're down, Toma VNS. When you're down two sets, you don't want to be giving points to Navy. You want them to earn it. Like that. <laughs> like that. Okay. Check. <laughs> <laughs> a few times at Malabunga was given a touch, triple block ang binigay. Uh, Peter Kill was the one who rejected that one. And yeah. again, we are tied at 9 all. No, and coverage wasn't there for VNS. Oh. And this time it works. Kim Malabunga answering back. And still discussing the, the set of uh, Ishpol Verosa. Nababaan pa ba siya? Far, a bit far from the net. But come on, Kim Malabunga. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Wala naman siyang stiff neck, di ba? Wala. <laughs> <laughs> Services for Ish Polvorosa. Yeah. Trying to pump up his team. Well, this is a, a chance that they'll get, you know. I mean, obviously, Navy lapsing here in the third set. So, come on. I mean, if you're VNS, you want to pounce on that. Casania tosses it to Umandal, San Andres. Good was there. save, good save. And it's still alive. Yeah. What an effort for the Griffins. Back row ah. attack is short and it turns into a point. Para sa VNS. Well, credit the defense of VNS. Grabe yung save na yun ni Ben San Andres. <laughs> and then Montemayor had to chase near the LED. Yeah. 
And then, you know what, with that chase, it actually frustrated Navy. That's why they were so oh. in a hurry to get that kill. Which led to that error, but De La Vega powers his way through. Well, De La Vega was also in a hurry to get that point. And you like that he's getting the touches also, yeah. no? Hindi lang siya basta basta okay pumasok ka because we want you to get back on the on the floor to have a feel. But he's also being a part of the attacking uh, system nitong Navy. Well, I remember that like the first games before he got injured, he was one of the major options right. of Navy. Let's take a look at this error. The violation. Ooh. Well, they call that violation. <laughs> Jimmy Inti continues to bring in the fireworks. Boy, I mean, he has played big for Navy, you know, subbing Rosales. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something that uh, Coach Cecil Cruzad will definitely take note of heading into the next two games here in the semifinals. And you like that, no? Coming off the bench, you're here, you're in to sub for whatever reason. You take the, the uh, take advantage of that opportunity. De La Vega was blocked there. And the tawag ng timeout dito ang PGJC Navy because they are down by three points here in set number three. Let's listen in. The Navy Sea Lions had to regroup there as they were down by three points against VNS. And of course, Coach Cecil, she wants this to end as soon as possible. You don't want VNS to get one more set here because that could just switch the momentum. Yeah, not only that, of course, you don't want uh, to risk. You know, longer playing time means higher risk for injuries and fatigue. So yeah. you want to end it as soon as possible. But they're unable to answer that call of uh, Coach Cecil after that timeout, an error on Umandal. And now the biggest lead for VNS in this game. Yeah. I mean, if you're VNS, you should be riding on this high. Four point lead there, uh, this time. That is inside. Para kay Jemmy and Tig. I think that's probably his eighth or ninth point of the match already. And we were talking about Rosales' contribution in previous game was 10. Mm -hmm. So that's his goal. And he's close to it. Oh, we mentioned that, no? The crucial yung 10 points that he gave Rosales in the eliminations. And another one, pero medyo nang gigil. Tinamaan yung net. He yeah. felt that one and saw it. We reached a second technical timeout. Venus up by four points against the PGJC Navy. Focus kami sa goal namin. Ginawa namin step by step para po marating namin yung goal namin na yon. Even though na hindi po namin ina expect na magrank one kami, pero uh, nagawa ng mga players namin na nagrank rank one. Dahil sa mga insayo nila at extra workout each and every one po. Step by step lang namin na gawin yung tama at panalunin every game kasi alam namin kung gaano kaya importante yung laro. Oh. 
We are back in inside the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center. Right now, the VNS1 Alicia Griffins able to build their biggest lead so far at four points. And a facial given up by Intig. Body shot. Body palasa. <laughs> straight to the chest. Yeah. Well, you like the the power Intig has. I mean, it's the first time we're actually seeing him play. At least me. At least me. <laughs> Same here. Yeah. Like that two of us. Two of us and aren't you impressed? Na na e Intig na yung mga fans ng. <laughs> aren't you entertained? <laughs> <laughs> And another point here by the Navy Sea Lions. Well, just a two-point game. This is what we've been talking about, Navy, Noreen. Even though they're down by four points, it seems like they're so composed. Yeah. They know exactly what to do. And paano humabol. And that's what we saw throughout this conference. It didn't happen in their first two games. But as they improved, as they gelled, I mean, that's what you saw, the improvement, the maturity. Right. And this time around, Coach Ralph Ocampo, yung tatawag ng timeout because all of a sudden, the lead is down to one point. Oh, Coach Ralph Ocampo calling a timeout. Last time he looked at the scoreboard, they were up by four. And then now, Navy has cut the lead down to one. Good read, Monaco Cruz. And good timeout on the part of Coach Carlo. Change. And players here as Chris Doria will once again serve for VNS. So, kanina si, si Gavan yung mm. tinatawak ni Coach Ralph, but then with that mm -hmm. error, no, he, he turns into Chris Doria now. Well, actually, they, he uses both, but you're right, no? now it's Doria. Ooh. And Greg Dolor gets another point. <laughs> Greg Dolor kind of rested a bit. EJ Casania was like giving it to the others and now okay. Are you uh, are you well rested? This is surprised that I'm in the total points ni, <laughs> ni Greg Dolor Mama. Yeah. And his target is the offense of the entire BNS. Oh, oh good save. Chance though for Navy. Saved by Mendoza. And, and it's still alive. And Povorosa. <laughs> and finally Greg Dolor. <laughs> Will get a point. Third time's a charm. I told you he's gonna go to Greg Delore. <laughs> like now, Greg Delore kind of has fresh legs. Okay, come on, come on, captain. Tied ball game here at 17 apiece. Good serve. Polvorosa back sets to Malabunga. Had to adjust. Kept alive. Casania will send it to the captain. Yes. <laughs> Oh Malabunga boy. And Paul Barossa caught flat footed. No, actually, the coverage had to come oh. from the back, right? But uh, they were expecting someone, pero wala rin. Yeah, but it was just a great hit. You can see that slow mo in the middle of this blocker's hand. Ish. To Ben. Second try, Kim plays setter. Another block. Paul Barossa. San Andres on the third try. <laughs> Three is the lucky number for both teams. Yeah, did for that. Oh, may parang may inabot sa yung may inabot sa yung ano? Eh, mamaya mo na i-reveal. Mamaya. <laughs> oh, great serve. Casania ups it to De La Vega. And he puts it away. Yeah, going down the line. Actually, San Andres is a very good defender, but that was just too much power. Mm -hmm. 
And now Navy up by one point. If you've been uh, watching this match closely in the first two sets, ganito rin. Yun ang yari. Mm. Si Lions able to take the lead at this part of the set. Kasanya to Umandal oh. and that works. Well, who are you going to block? I mean, Kasanya has been just distributing the ball really well. And that face of Kim Malabunga says it all. The attack from Jao Mandal, able to get it through, and another timeout called by the Griffiths. Tama pag usap na para makatake tayo. Puro pasa lang yung error natin. Pasa tayo na maganda. Kung po sure lang ako yung magpadala sa kalaban niyo, nagdadala kayo sa kalaban niyo. Yung ingin nila, sabayan niyo na intensity. Go tayo, go tayo, go tayo, go tayo, go tayo. Parang nilabangan niyo. Go, go, go! Yes! Go pa sana natin para makakakakak. You heard the words there from Coach Ralph Ocampo. Kailangan nilang tapangan. But it, you know, if you're facing a squad like maybe you were saying big names, it's really hard also no, to keep up. If itong VNS, very young team, is their first time to enter the semifinals. So, so we don't know kung gaano rin kalaki yung pressure on their side because they want to do good in the semifinals. Yeah, of course. But, uh, well, again, they, they had... This is clean slate yeah. in the semi, so you gotta forget really. I mean, how good your opponents are and play your game. Oh, yeah, that, that did not go through the antenna and a free point given up by Navy. Unisin na sabi ni Coach Ralph sa pass sila nagkaka problema. It's not even the other team scoring in bunches, but the first ball has been the problem. And ironically, it's because they're a good receiving team. Right. I mean, that's why we, you always say the height, you know, they're not the tallest of teams, but they can receive. Oh. And access denied. <laughs> De La Vega and Kiel shutting the door. And uh, this time, it's Navy's turn to build a four-point lead. Total reversal of fortunes here. And Boy. They, they can feel it. Just three points away from getting their first win in the semifinals. But Dolor says, Diko pa pala masyado na amoy. <laughs> <laughs> so for VNS, this is your chance. This is the time. I mean, you're down 19 to 22. Ish Polvorosa to serve. You have a full front line. Yep. For me, you have to go a lot. You have to go to Malabunga. Mm. Oh! Ouch! Ouch indeed, as H. Polvorosa sends that short, an error for them, and a point closer to end this one para sa Sea Lions. Yeah. Oh. Umandal. Polvorosa pops it up. Cruz sends it to Mendoza. Saved oh. there by <laughs> Peter Kiel, but... Kim Malabunga wasting his effort. <laughs> yeah, the heads up play by Kim Malabunga. Everyone was watching it all with that save, but then Malabunga says, What save? <laughs> <laughs> Grab in type there, oh. Peter Gill. Hey, you were mentioning rarely do we see service aces at the same time, middle blockers diving. Yeah. Does si Kim Malabunga kill Joy? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to <laughs> let Kill have his moment. Kill lang daw sa kanya. Uh -oh. I'll, I'll kill this ball. Yeah. 20 serving 23. Casania to De La Vega oh. and they connect. Well, that is match point for you for Navy. Joven De La Vega coming off an injury, missed the middle part of the eliminations. Playing the most minutes so far mm. since that injury and able to contribute with a Crucial points, especially here in sets two and three. Yeah, what a game. Oh. But he sends that out. <laughs> I was looking at um, Greg Delore talking to Del Vega and saying, why are you targeting the outside? <laughs> because his body was facing where he brought the ball, and then they both like kind of smiled. <laughs> Patagalin lang daw ng onte. Oh, oh, good serve. Chance for them to end it. The running attack. Not yet, says Cruz. 
Free ball given up. Lorenzo Casania. Umanda. Oh. No. And VNS still alive. <laughs> Pero how many times have we seen the scoreline in this game? Medyo nabibitin lang. A little too late for VNS. But let's see. Will this finally be the time that they equalize and extend the set? We'll find out. So PGJC Navy calling a timeout there just to compose themselves. They only need a point. Yeah. Yung kaninang set number two. Ganun na ganun yung sinabi nila. No? We, we're, we're an advantage. We just need one more point. Yeah. So we just need a steady receive. Tignan natin. Montemayor. Good serve. Casania will send it to Umanda oh, for the finish. Come on. <laughs> come on. That was spike down. And the number one scorer in the tournament ends this one in straight sets. For the PGJC Navy Sea Lions, they will take their first win in the semifinals. Take a look at this once again. Boy, what an end. You know, what an exclamation point to this game. Power on the part of Jao Umandal. Hindi pa siyang masaya sa point na pero nonetheless, they get the win. Well, you know, we have to say we did <laughs> expect that the uh, Navy had the upper hand in this game. We oh. just didn't think that it would go straight sets. Right, but at the same time, muntik pa kasi humabol yung Venus. Mm. Kaya sigh of relief from Jao Mandal and the rest of the Sea Lions. We'll be back to wrap this one up here on One Sports.
Friends, welcome back to day one of the Spiker Surf Open Conference semi-finals. Earlier, we witnessed a fiery match between the PGJC and Navy Sea Lions and VNS1 Alicia Griffins, in which the Navy emerged as victors with a sweep. Here with me is player of the game, captain of the team, Greg Delore, with 20 points, 18 attacks, and two blocks. Congratulations, Greg. Yung individual performance mo kanina, mas malaki sa performance sa kabilang team combined. Ano ang nag-iisang bagay na nagpo-push sa'yo para mag-contribute ng ganito kalaking performance? Uh, number one is yung, siyempre, ano, uh, semis na. So, kailangan talaga lahat ng training namin, ng uh, sacrifice is lumabas. So, yun siguro yung, ano, yung susi kung bakit nakuha yung ganong points. Then, siyempre, gusto namin manalo. So, hindi na namin naisip yung points. Kumbaga, basta manalo kami, manalo, manalo, yun lang. At bumunga naman talaga ang dugot pawis yes. ninyo. And secondly, madaming injury na naganap, madaming sakit na iniinda ang team players mo. Bilang isang leader, paano mo inaangat ang moral ng bawat isa? Uh, yun nga. Uh, uh, player ka uh, team kami as a team. So kung ano man mangyari sa isa, kailangan yung uh, second stringer namin is nandyan para mag-step up. So ginagawa namin sa training yun. Uh, hindi, na, hindi kami bumubuo ng per six. Kung, kung sino ipasok, yun na. Kumbaga, uh, kung anong mangyari sa isa, meron papalit. Yun. First stringer man, second stringer man, kailangan talaga dapat handa. Kaya yeah. naman, congratulations, Greg. May gusto ka bang batiin? Uh, yes po. Uh, binabati ko po yung uh, parents ko sa Pangasinan, then yung family ko sa uh, Sambales, yung baby ko, si Charm, then yung dalawang baby ko, si Gavin and Diana, then sa Global Remit, Macau. Yun, yung sponsor namin. Then, si Tita Ping, maraming maraming salamat sa suporta palagi sa amin. Yun lang ba? Thank you. Yan, salamat and congratulations again, Greg, and to the rest of the Navy Sea Lions. More action, packed volleyball in a while as Signal faces NU Santa Elena. Stay tuned and back to the panel. Thank you, Alexis. And there you have it, the best player of the game is none other than Greg Dolor. Inunahan tayo sa pag-reveal ng points, eh, Norin. But you saw the numbers, 20 huge points for the captain, Greg Dolor. And we take a look at the set three highlights of what happened there. And again, Norin, paano mo na, anong basa mo dito sa set three? Pa? Halos same lang, eh, no? From start to finish, the story for Navy Sea Lions. It's the same script, right? Yep. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> All <laughs> sets, no? hindi nagpalit, eh. Um, it's pretty much the same story because it would be close at a certain point of the set, and then VNS will lead. But then at the end, Navy just, we always say, just maintain the right composure to get the set. And right. that's exactly what happened in the third set. We don't have to say anything different. If you look at the numbers, attacks again the way of Navy, this time with more blocking service. There's a, actually a strength of one, Nadisha, they use that. And the opponent's air is still more for Navy. So for Navy, one thing you want to learn really if you look at the total you know total summary 29 uh, errors for navy so for navy if you learn from this match you really need to minimize your errors moving forward but everything else is actually pretty good for vns i think it's also more of what alexis said earlier the end game because that's where you know there's not enough gas in the tank for right. them to go over you know, their opponents. Right, and that's what uh, the Navy Sea Lions did exactly in three sets. You see the domination in the attacking department for the Sea Lions and the rest of what they did against the VNS one Alicia Griffin. So they take their first win here in the semifinals. But up next, we still have the second game of this Thursday doubleheader. The Signal HD Spikers will have their rematch against the NU Santa Elena National. Still here on One Sports and One Sports Plus on behalf of Alexis Tinsai, my partner, Doringo. My name is Dip Dipiaco saying thank you for watching the Spikers Turf 2022 Open Conference.